So if you have been overwhelmed with planning and staying on top of all of your tasks, then this video is going to be for you. Planning your day can be very stressful, but using two of my favorite productivity apps, it's not. So keep watching to find out how you can plan more efficiently using ClickUp and Sensama. All right, guys, so here we are in Sensama. Um, Sensama is an app that walks you through a guided daily planning workflow that helps you to build a more focused and achievable set of goals for your day. Um, so while planning, you know, you can pull in tasks from your Google Calendar, from your Gmail, from your ClickUp. And if you use Trello, Asana, Todoist, or Outlook, you can also um, bring in tasks from all of those apps as well. They just came out with the weekly planning and weekly objectives. They have a backlog. So say if you have tasks that you want to bring in from ClickUp, um, but you don't want to plan it for this week or next week or today, you can put it into your backlog. And then there's an archive so that if tasks that you didn't get to after four days, um, you can also change it after how many days you want. Um, it'll automatically go into your archive. So I love that Sensama does this because it takes into account that not everybody has one place where all of their to-dos are from. So, you know, you don't just have one to-do list. You have emails, you have project management tools, you have your planner, and it just brings everything into one. And if you're working on a team or you're working with uh, co-workers, they might use different tools and systems. So Sensama just brings everything and centralizes your to-do list so that you can focus only on one list. And I love that it does that because ever since I've been using Sensama, I felt like I've been way more productive and way more focused on getting things done. And I'm not as overwhelmed with it all as well. And I also want to mention that Sensama isn't just a place where you can gather all your to do's, you can also add tasks. So you can, you know, say, say something just popped up out of nowhere and it needs to get on your to do list. You don't need to put it into ClickUp or Asana or your email or anything. First, you can just add it into Sama from your desktop or from your app. So they have a mobile app for your iPhone and tablet and for Android as well. So you can use it on the go. So, you know, from what I just told you, you can tell that Sensama isn't here to replace your project management tool. It's to use it alongside your project management tool. So whether you use Asana or ClickUp or Trello, um, Sensama is an additional piece to your system that will help you gain more focus and be less overwhelmed. Because sometimes, you know, when you get into your project management tool and you see all of the projects and all of the tasks broken down, it kind of gets overwhelming and then you end up not doing any of it. But Sensama is a way for you to bring it in and help you focus more on getting just that one thing done today. Okay, so the reason that I love Sensama is because of its uh, productivity tips all kind of brought into its app. So you can plan your day and when you plan your day, it kind of guides you. Um, so it says, what do you want to get done tomorrow? And you can add a task that you want to work, you want to work on tomorrow. Um, so these are my tasks for tomorrow. And then um, it shows my weekly objectives for the week. Um, and then if I want to, I can add in things from my Google Calendar or I can time block it. So you can see here, I've already time blocked my task. All I had to do was drag it like this. So, so it's super easy to um, time block your task. And then if I wanna switch it around, super easy to just drag and drop. So time blocking has never ever been so easy as doing it here. So you have your to-do list here and then you have your time block schedule here. Um, and you know, when you schedule, when you're gonna get things done, you have, you know, 100% better chance at getting it done. Um, and then after that, it will say what can wait. So it only tells you to keep what's essential only and drag over tasks that can wait. So you can, you know, schedule it for the next day or schedule it for next week. Um, and then you can also put time estimates. 
So, you know, cleaning the bathroom, I planned it for 30 minutes. So if it looks unrealistic and it doesn't fit in your schedule, then you need to move it over to the next week. So I love that it, you know, helps you create a realistic plan because we always, you know, try to do more than what we can fit into our day. And this just shows us that, you know, we should only be planning for what can fit in our schedule. Okay, so once that, that looks good, we just see daily planning and then you see your plan for tomorrow. And then when you get started, you'll see your list for today. And if you don't want to see any other days, you can actually just click on today's Friday. So you could go here, you could go to focus and it'll show only uh, today's tasks. Really quickly, I want to show you guys the calendar in Sansama. So let's say that you add a lot of tasks directly to your calendar, um, your Google calendar. You can actually turn those Google calendar events into tasks as well. So let's say that I added this in my Google Calendar. All you have to do is hover over it and then click Add to Tasks and it'll go into your task list. So you see here, it's opposite of what we just usually do. So when you click on task, you see your to-do list and then your calendar. But if you click on calendar, you see your calendar and then your to-do list. And then you can drag task into your calendar and also vice versa, you can take your calendar and put it into your to-do list. So another thing I wanted to mention about Sansama is the time tracking. So when you're in focus mode um, and then you open up a task, you can see that you can plan all of your subtasks with the different amount of time it'll take. So these are my tasks. And then you can see I spent 15 minutes doing this, two minutes doing that, eight minutes doing that. And then um, it's really cool because when you hit the timer, so let's say I'm going to start working on updating my lists and notes, I could just hit that play button and it'll open up this focus mode. Um, and then you only work on that and then the timer is going and it's just kind of like a push for you to keep working. And then when I hit break, I could take a break. So it's kind of like using the Pomodoro technique to work for you know 25 minutes and then take a break and then it'll give you a short break of five minutes and then you can stop. And then when you're done, you can just close it out and go back to the rest of your to-do list. And then you can just keep doing that for everything that's on your task list. So you can see here, um, this big project that I've been working on, my 20, uh, 2022 planners. Um, you can see I started it on Wednesday and then Thursday and then Friday. And I didn't have to rewrite this all the time um, just because all these weren't checked off. So it just kept rolling over. But you can see all of my time that I spent on it, it's still adding up. So I love that Sensama does that for me because I can still see what needs to get done. Um, the project isn't finished yet. So it keeps rolling over to the next day. Okay. And then Finally, I wanted to talk about contexts or channels. So the channels are um, kind of just like tags that you can categorize your uh, tasks. And I love using it because um, if you track your time, um, you can see where all your time is going. We have work, I have my admin, shop, social media, YouTube, and blog. And then for my personal, I have errands and appointments, family, health and fitness, and household. So you can change your um, channels here in context. So we have a work context with these channels and then a personal context with these channels. And then, you know, taking the extra time to do that really helps you to see where your time is going, especially when you shut down for the day. So, um, so once you're done with that, you hit reflect on day and it reviews your day with you. So if you have trouble um, taking the time to review your day, Sansama does this for you every day. Um, it'll even send out, a, it'll even give you a reminder on your desktop that it's time to shut down for the day. And I think that is super important um, for, you know, getting to plan every single day, getting into the routine of shutting down from work and transferring to personal. 
So I love this little walkthrough. So you can see here the total time I spent on my YouTube and my shop and then household. And then if you go next, you can write a little journaling um, about your day. Today was a good day uh, and so on. Um, you can also skip this if you want, but I highly suggest that you fill this out every day. Um, it's just a good way to close out your day. And then you just hit wrap up and it says done for the day. So that is Sansama in a nutshell. Um, I feel like Sansama plays a big role in me being productive, especially this last few months. I feel like puts in everything I've learned about productivity all into one app about, you know, Pomodoros, time blocking, batching your tasks, you know, work-life balance reviewing your day, celebrating your wins, you know, all of that. It's all in this one app and I think it's just amazing. So yeah, I hope you guys try it out. Um, if you guys want to try it out for free for two weeks, you can use the link that's in my bio. You don't need a credit card or anything. You can just try it out for free for two weeks. Uh, no strings attached and yeah. After that, if you want to continue, it is a little pricey. It's about $20 a month. It's an investment that you should definitely take into consideration if you have trouble sticking to your task or focusing. So yeah, um, I hope you guys check it out and thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video.